I'm Rob Harris with Denver 7. I was at the press conference with Aurora Police Department today that lasted more than an hour and a half and for the first time showed two different body camera angles showing the chase and ultimately the shooting of 14-year-old Jordell Richardson. We also learned that Jordell did not in fact have a handgun at the time that he was shot, but instead had a pellet gun designed to look like a handgun. After that, we heard from Jordell's family and friends and dozens of members of the community as they protested. So we'll get to all of that. But I want to start by breaking down the timeline of events that police described in the press conference and illustrated with body camera footage. According to police, Jordell and a group of other young people were seen by officers walking into a convenience store in Aurora wearing medical masks. Police said the group went in to rob the store of vape cartridges. Immediately after leaving the convenience store, at least two officers began chasing Jordell from the entrance of the store into an alley around back, yelling at him to get on the ground. One of the officers tackled Jordell to the ground, and the other begins to shout about a gun, though it's not visible from the angle of the body cam. At that time, the officer fired a single shot, hitting Jordell in the abdomen. We're choosing not to show that moment, but Jordell starts to scream, saying he's sorry, and that the others in the group, quote, made me do it. Let's call for me. Made me do it. Huh? I don't know what they were doing. Okay, do okay. It. We now know that Jordell had a pellet gun designed to look like a handgun. That is not a toy. As a matter of fact, that is a, a weapon. And that's the weapon we found that was on this person. God bless him. Why do we even have these? Exactly. What's the purpose of these replicas? The officer who fired the shot has been identified as Officer Rock Greshka by Aurora Police. An interim chief Acevedo says he does not have any prior incidents with excessive force or disciplinary action. Acevedo called this shooting a tragedy all around. As we were hearing from Aurora Police, Jordell's family was joined by a large group of community members to demonstrate outside and march in the streets. This is so wrong. And ain't nothing they can do to bring him back. Attorneys for the family told me they have two big questions for Aurora police now. One, why did it take eight days for police to say publicly that Jordell did not in fact have a handgun, but rather a pellet gun? And two, why did this escalate to police shooting him? How can you say all these words when your officers hadn't put in a report? How dare you? So now you have to answer. The body camera angles we were shown do not appear to show Jordell reaching for the pellet gun, but we do hear Officer Greska yell, gun, gun, drop the gun. Chief Acevedo says there's no surveillance video with an angle that would show more of the struggle leading up to the shooting to his knowledge. But attorneys for the family say they've spoken to a business owner who does have surveillance footage, which has been turned over. The family, their attorneys, and community members are now pledging to push for more accountability and for justice. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris.